Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. Today's furry friend might be quiet now, but they're actually known to make a variety of sounds. Hmm, here for Critters Uncaged today from Miller Park Zoo in Bloomington, Shannon Reedy, our education specialist, is um, joined by Gomez. Introduce us to Gomez. Well, I will make a variety of sounds today as well. Does, does Gomez make a variety of sounds? You know, he's a very quiet guy, but guinea pigs do. Yeah, okay. particularly when you open up the refrigerator door. <laughs> Guinea pig <laughs> owners out here are looking and knowing, yes, yes, yes. When guinea pig, when they get to know when when the crisper drawer opens, they want to have that little snack of uh, fruits and veggies. Now, mm -hmm. is he a regular guinea pig? Because I'm not used to seeing them so furry. Exactly. Well, there are different breeds of guinea pigs. Just like breeds of dogs or breeds of cats, breeds of rabbits, there are breeds of guinea pigs. Not as many. He is called a Texel which means that his hair is very, it's coarse. He doesn't have really soft hair and it's got some curl to it. So this is, the, and length obviously. Yes. Yeah. But, but then on the face, I mean, it's just very, very short. It's just all yep. back behind. It's back behind. Yeah. Interesting. And all the way around. So he has recently had a trim. His zookeepers gave him a little trim on the sides. I think I need one myself. <laughs> and so, yeah, but he, we have to keep it in check. I mean, it's one of those things where it can be a grooming issue potentially yes. they don't love being brushed but he does manage quite well well tell us a little yeah. bit about his demeanor and I mean because he seems so chill right mm -hmm. now are these good pets yeah, they really are great pets. I've had them myself personally. Um, guinea pigs are, are tremendous little guys. Oh, um, I wasn't sure, like, his breed of guinea pig. His, oh, I think it can be okay. It, you just have to be willing to do the bathing and the brushing as needed. That's really the key. Gotcha. If, if you want an easy-peasy guinea pig, you're going to get a short hair, and it's going to be much, really no grooming at all necessary. But he's really the, uh, they're all kind of the same when it comes to feeding and length of, of life. He's five years old now, um, which Is puts that him average? in. He's, he's getting into the geriatrics now. Really? So up to, up to eight. Eight's a really old pig. Okay. So yeah, they're not a long-lived pet, which also is kind of a nice thing in, in some ways. Um, yes. They're not a long-term commitment. Which right. Can be nice. Exactly. And he still has a lot of great years left in him. He really sure does. Here at and, the Miller Park Zoo. And you did mention how the demeanor, they do have different personalities. Our other guinea pig, Carmen, she is all about the noisy, all about the it's me. <laughs> it's me. It's yeah. me all the time now. And Gomez is like, you know, it can be about you. It's okay. Yeah, he is just He's just relaxed. definitely more gentle. Yes. And he is one of the favorite animals of our junior zookeeper corps. Yes, tell and me I about this program. I wanted to talk about this, man. It sounds so fun. A this great is, opportunity. This is the biggest time of year for me. Um, it's when we have our incoming junior zookeepers happening. Um, registration meetings, information meetings are coming up next week. You have to come to a meeting in order to get an application. It's a high demand program. We have got 250 of the most excellent teens in this area and they come from all over the area so teens they have to be a teenager what's be, the age they have to be right now sitting in a fifth grade classroom or higher fifth grade or higher fifth grade it. or higher and then by the time they get through a couple of years of summer camp and some school year classes because we do class all year round we, we all your learning and all your fun and experience hanging out with with the animals and and learning things about the zoo so and what then, does it then we end up volunteering well, great. Yeah. By the what time they're it... in high school, they do amazing, almost internship-like jobs at the zoo. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What does a, a little junior zookeeper, what are their responsibilities? Well, when we first start, um, they, as, as a volunteers, they're going to be, they help out with some special events, things that might, you might come to the zoo for Christmas time events or Bunny's birthday coming up next month. Yes. Um, and you'll have, you'll, you'll see Jay-Z Case, that's what we call him at the zoo. Um, <laughs> you'll see Jay-Z Case helping out there. If you come to my classes, they'll be helping out there as well. Um, but on a, lot, on a big scale, it's summer. So from Memorial Weekend through when school starts, they are hanging out in our goat yard, helping out, keeping it clean and helping people have a good time with the goats, answering questions. They're in Zoo Lab helping 
when people, um, again, answering questions, giving them information about the animals, keeping it tidy for everyone, and also showing off some bugs. We know we love the bugs. Oh, yes. Um, millipedes, cockroaches, that whole thing. Um, they, they get to handle some animals out there on the sidewalk for people to see, like Gomez. He goes out a lot um, and gets some nice pets and back rubs, you know? Yes. So they well. do so many things, uh, even just in the, in the starting phases. So the, those are junior high kids typically. And then as they, they excel and, and move up in the program, um, they get More to have... opportunities. They're being zookeeper's assistants and they're being um, chat leaders um, yes. on the stage and they're doing so many interesting things so very cool well it's great. great it's a great program and i hope that you guys are interested in maybe coming checking that out well yes and we're excited for you and sharing that information here on ci living and it's a great opportunity for those kids who love animals and want to learn more and not be behind an electronic device all summer we'll connect you to everything happening at miller park zoo on our facebook page so go check that out